Hi there, Mr Moffat here from Wolverhampton Music Service. This is a short guide into how to make practicing arpeggios more fun and more musical. What I've found is I've been teaching a few students at grade 5 and grade 6 level and you have the piece aspect and the scales and arpeggios aspect, the technical aspect. And what I've found is that um, my students will invariably practice the pieces really, really hard but they'll treat the scales and the arpeggios like an afterthought. And I think that's because um, they can't see how to apply them in a musical way. And they just see them as a kind of a dry technical exercise. So I thought, um, how can I come about creating something that sounds musical and that is also a vehicle to practice your arpeggios? So I've come up with a couple of um, arpeggio pieces, um, short little studies that hopefully sound more musical and are more fun to play. Okay, so this is referring to grade six rock school material, and they're looking for major seven, minor seven, and dominant seven arpeggios. Two octaves in two positions, starting from root E string and root A string. I'm just gonna go through the three shapes for you now. Okay, so in this little study, there are four arpeggio shapes. Firstly, D major seven, root on the A string. <laughs> Then B minor 7, root on the A string again. Next G major 7, root on the E string this time. And finally A dominant 7, root on the E string again. The reason I've used these arpeggios is because they go through all the shapes you need to learn for rock school grade six, but also because if you play them after the other, they follow a really nice one, six, four, five chord progression in the key of D. So if we play the chords, you can hear the D major seven, and the arpeggio outlines that. Then B minor seven, G major 7, A dominant 7, if you've watched my other video about creative scales you'll know that I like to get you mixing up playing up and then down your scales and arpeggios because it works your brain more and also the contours of an up and down sound fresher to the ear. So, in the study, we're going to play up the D major 7 arpeggio. Almost to the top, but we'll stop there on the C sharp and we'll come down in B minor 7. Almost to the bottom, but we'll stop on the D note. Then we'll move into G major 7. Again, going up almost to the top, but then down, step down, and that's going down in A dominant 7, and we're going to finish with that C sharp, so we can move up and start again. So <clears throat> I'll play each um, arpeggio part, and I'll leave a little gap in between. So up in D major 7, Down in B minor 7, up in G major 7, down in A dominant 7, back up again. The chord progression behind it is quite old school rock and roll, that 1, 6, 4, 5. So what you can do is you can play the arpeggio swung as well. A 
and that will give an extra rhythmic dimension to it and challenge yourself a bit as well. So there you go, there's a fun and creative study to practice your arpeggio shapes for grade six and to have more fun doing it. So I hope this was useful to you. If it was, then please give it a like and remember to subscribe to our channel as well. So keep playing and I'll see you soon.